What's up everybody, Coach Trevor here. So today in this video, we're gonna go over a soft stagger stance dumbbell row. You can do the kettlebell too, or even with the barbell if you want. Um, <clears throat> so keep in mind, this is a hinge variation. And the reason why we do so many hinge exercises in here is because, and squat exercises, because if you get good at a hinge, if you get good at a squat, you're gonna be able to do tons of different variations. They're just the foundational movements, and you can build off of that, right? So <clears throat> in the last video, we did a long stagger stance. This one's gonna be a soft stagger stance, okay? So, <clears throat> abs nice and tight. It's basically a hinge variation. Boom, a bent over row, like single sided, uh, single dumbbell bent over row with a soft stagger stance, okay? So this foot, as long as it's not fully extended, this I clarify this as a soft stagger stance. When I'm teaching it in class, one of the best ways is just to get the whole group on the same page. Wherever the big heel is at, boom, put your big toe there. And that's where your hinge is gonna be at, right? That's where your, stand, your stance is gonna be at for the soft stagger stance. So, heel, big toe right there at the edge right there. So, out of the tight, boom, you're gonna hinge, create tension, pull the weight back here. Isometric right, load in here. You can go heavy on these guys. It can be supported or unsupported, right? And the main thing is, if you're watching and seeing what the shoulder's doing, the head of the humerus isn't sticking out on their row, they're not coming straight up, they're pulling it back, so they're using their lat. They're reaching, right? And then retracting. So protracting, retracting, hitting the row, making sure <clears throat> that their form is perpendicular to their torso on their row. And then of course, when they're in the hinge position, that variation, their grip on the floor, okay? This knee's not caving in, right? Their knees aren't knocking like this. Their knees are kind of driving out. They're hitting this glute as they're loading, because they're loading a single leg uh, exercise on this, okay? So it's a bent over position, but it's also a single leg exercise at the same time. So we need to be aware of what this foot's doing, right? It's not like this. Knees not caving in. Toes aren't up like this, okay? And also, right, this heel's not flat, so being active on the rear foot. So there's a few things you should be looking out for on stagger stances. Or, and remember, if you realize, okay, this is a single leg exercise, they're gripping the floor, they have the right position, they feel in the right muscle group, right? So I feel hammies, glutes, core, maybe lower back a tiny bit, but not too much, and then lat, right? And then upper back as well, because it's a row.